Gaddis, offensive coordinator, Michigan. And here's the reverse. Heading to the corner. Heading. Touchdown, Michigan. Some may believe that Josh Gaddis should win the Broyles Award based on one game. Gaddis's big blue offense ravaged the Ohio State defense for 42 points and almost 500 yards of offense, including 297 on the ground. But Josh Gaddis is no one-game wonder. In his three years running the Michigan offense, Josh Gaddis's Wolverines have averaged more than 30 points and 400 yards of offense a game. This season, Gaddis made the move to emphasize the run. Michigan has gone from being ranked 95th in rushing offense a year ago to being the best in the Big Ten and ninth nationally with 224 yards a game. His Michigan offense is also 13th nationally in scoring, 37 points a game, and 19th in total offense, 451 yards a game. And this offense doesn't lose yards. Tops in the country in tackles for losses allowed. They're also sixth in turnovers lost. All characteristics of a well-coached offense. What's up, guys? Welcome to NMDTV Canes All Canes All Day. If you're rocking with you, then you know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss out on a video. Josh Gaddis, welcome to the U. Let's talk about it. Big shout out to the sponsor of this video, the Patreon Squad, aka the Kane Gang. If you want to become a member of the Kane Gang, get signed up today for extra content. Link in the description and in the pinned comment. Let's get it. Now, before I could even get done making my coffee this morning, before I could even get my day started, before I could really get in the groove of this wonderful Sunday that we're all blessed with today, it was announced by Bruce Feldman, Michigan Office of Coordinator Josh Gaddis is accepting Miami's Office of Coordinator job per source. The 38-year-old Gaddis, who helped the Wolverines to a Big Ten title in 2001, Won the Bros Award in the nation's top assistant coach. Big addition for the Canes. That was reported this morning. And listen, when Bruce Feldman talks about Miami, when Bruce Feldman recruits or reports for Miami, then we know that's a report that we can take to the bank. We know that that's a report that's true. And, and it, it was just a calming feeling, right? It was just, it was like when Thanos at the end of the first Avengers movie, he could just sit down over his farm. That's what I kind of felt like today, knowing that we have our offensive coordinator and our defensive coordinator on our staff. And also, we got our wide receivers coach, I think, on our staff as well. And we're going to talk about that. But it just feels good that. When we go back way a long, long time ago, which it seems like, people called the Miami Hurricanes situation a mess, said it was horrible, said that we had all, all these people making decisions. Then we went up and snatched Clemson's AD. Thank you. Then we went up and snatched Mario. Thank you. You know, and people were saying, you know, we actually got Mario first. People were saying, who gets their coach before their AD? What's really going on over there? And then Mario took his time. He took his time to do what he wanted to do to get the coordinators that he thought was right. And, of course, over the last couple of weeks, all the media has been going in on Miami. Oh, what's going on at Miami? Maybe they got buyer's remorse. Mario hasn't hired anybody. He's been turned down and turned down and turned down. Y'all shut the hell up. Because now, when the dust settles, we have Mario Cristobal as our head coach. We have Rad as our athletic director. We have Kevin Steele, and we have Josh Gaddis, you know, at the primary positions for this football program. And I can say, when you stack those four guys up to the last four guys that we had, if you're not happy today, if you're not feeling the Lord's blessing today, if you're not feeling good today, if you didn't get up and do a little dance today, then come on, man, you got to really look at it because we was down low. And I told y'all we was down low. I ain't even have to tell you we was down low. But when you look at the paper, when you put it on paper, we rising up. We rising up. Have the games been played? No. Are we championship contenders? I don't know. Are we going to be the best team ever? We don't know. But all I can say is when I put those four names, athletic director, head coach, offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator, when I put 
those names compared to our last names, I, I feel good. I don't even need coffee when I do that, when I look at what we have upgraded to. When I do mean it's an upgrade. Now let's dive into this man right here, Josh Gaddis. I got to admit, it, 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 have you ever done a puzzle and then at the end you say, damn, this makes so much sense. Now that we've added Josh Gaddis, it makes so much sense. It's not a name that I heard. It's not a name that I even suggested. It's not a name that I even thought of. But it makes so much sense of why Mario would hire him. You know, he worked under Nick Saban, the type of office he runs, and he has a relationship with Joe Moorhead, the former offensive of coordinator with Oregon. It, j it makes a lot of sense, but I got to say, I did not think we were going to roll up into Michigan, a team who went to the college football playoffs and did take their offensive of coordinator. So, damn, if you're a Michigan fan, you lost your offensive of coordinator and defensive of coordinator, but nobody's going to talk about that. No! Why do I like this hire? The first thing is Josh Gaddis knows what it takes to win. He has worked under Nick Saban. He has worked under Harbaugh. Both teams, we know what Nick Saban has done. Harbs has won games, and he finally won to the he finally made it to the college football playoffs. This man has worked under both of those coaches, and he knows what it takes. He knows what he has to do. He knows what Mario is gonna do. Because he's seen Nick Saban grind and grind and grind. He's seen Harbs grind and grind and grind and finally get to the college football playoffs. And now he knows what, what's going to be asked for him under Mario Cristobal. So I like that. Last year, he won the Bros Award. Anytime a coach wins a Bros Award, that just makes the resume look a little bit better. The best assistant in the world looks great. And now I, I, I follow Michigan a little bit because one of my best friends is a Michigan fan, and I like, and we both talk crap to each other, right? So I remember when they hired Josh Gaddis, and one thing I liked is that Josh Gaddis adjusted. See, when Josh Gaddis got to me, the big thing was this, speed and space. We're going to throw the ball. We're going to have speed and space. We're going to get you in space. In the first couple years when they brought that offense out, it really didn't work out for them. Now, this is where I would have to go and do a little bit more research but why it didn't work out, I don't know. But this year, they said, okay, let's adjust it to more of a power running game. And we saw what happened to them. They blew out Ohio State. They got to the uh, college football playoffs. They ran the ball. Efficient offense. You, were, you heard all the stats at the beginning of the video. So I like the idea that Josh Gaddis was willing to adjust. Some of these coaches... It's like, if you're known to do it one way, you're going to ride with that way. You're not going to adjust. So for him to adjust to what Harbs want, I'm sure, to for him to adjust his philosophy, I like it. And do I, do I look at this Michigan team's next year? Or do I look at next year's Michigan tape and say, oh, this is how it's going to be at Miami? No, because there's two different rosters. Two different rosters. We got to remember that. But there was a lot of rumors that said Mario wants a power spread guy and Josh Gaddis is a guy who can run that power spread, right? And early in the video, I said we may have our wide receivers coach. Well, Coach Gaddis is a wide receivers coach. You know, he coached Jordan Matthews when he was at Vanderbilt. You know, Jordan Matthews ended up going to play for the Eagles. Coach Jerry Judy, who went to win the Belitnikoff Award. I mean, come on. We all around, you know, we know. We know who Jerry Judy is. So, it's not official. I mean, I haven't seen the official if he's going to be coaching the wide receivers. But I would assume we got the two-for-one special. We got the buy one, get one. Ladies and gentlemen, I am, ex I am excited about the total picture of Josh Gaddis being on this team. You know, you get Josh Gaddis, who worked under Nick Saban. You get Kevin Steele, who worked under Nick Saban. Uh, uh, Barrow's Award uh, finalist, Barrow's uh, Award winner. And as I want you guys to remember, if you could take away anything, I just want you to get your pen and paper out. Write down the four names that we used to have at head coach, athletic director, office coordinator, and defensive coordinator, and then write down the four that we've upgraded to and 
you gotta you gotta be excited about today. I I, I know I know I am. Now, as I say in all of the videos I've done when it comes to the hires that we've made, I'm now I I'm, I want to see what this guy does. I want to see what he does, right? Because his resume looks nice. You know, I've talked about him the whole video, but Kevin Steele, that is, I want to see y'all do it at Miami. Because there's been the, that Mario, I want to see y'all do it at Miami. Rad, I want to see y'all do it at Miami. The time is now. The time is now. I want to see y'all do it, fellas. Hey, man, it's a great day to be a Miami Hurricanes. I'm out. Peace.